Subtracting mixed numbers with borrowing. In this problem, we have 8 and 2 sevenths subtract 5 and 4 fifths. Step 1. Convert fractions to their common denominator. We cannot subtract because our fractions, 2 sevenths and 4 fifths, have uncommon denominators. So we must convert them to have common denominators. 35 is a common denominator to both 7 and 5, since 7 and 5 can go into 35. Then we change our original fraction to its higher equivalent form. We do this by multiplying 5 to 2 and 7 to get 10 over 35, and 7 to both 4 and 5 to get 28 over 35. Now we have a common denominator we can then subtract. Step 2. Borrow 1 from the whole number of the first fraction. And I said subtract before, but we cannot subtract because the reason is we can't subtract 28 from 10. 10 subtract 28 is not possible. So this is where the borrowing takes place. Therefore, we have to borrow 8 and the 8 will become a 7. then the one that we borrow will stay right here. Step 3. Convert first mixed number to an improper fraction and subtract. So our first mixed number, 1 and 10 over 35, we're going to convert that to an improper fraction. To do so, you multiply 35 times 1, then you add 10. That gets you 45 over 35. So our new problem becomes 7 and 45 over 35, subtract 5 and 28 over 35. Our denominators are the same, and 45 subtract 28 is possible now. We simply subtract, 45 subtract 28 is 17. Our denominator stays the same. 7 subtract 5 is 2. And this completes our problem. Also, to remember to reduce when possible.